few days ago, I had the good fortune of getting a brand new Chrysler 300 with only four miles on it for a rental. Now you might be wondering what a brand new Chrysler has to do with a Conestoga wagon. Well, it's kind of like the difference between new generation Macallisines and EDA. It's what the sociologists call cultural lag. We get a lot of requests for EVA, and usually it's because the EVA spec was written literally sometime in the 60s. Now, in its day, the advent of ethylene vinyl acetate was a big deal. Just like the Holly carburetor was pretty neat in its day, but it's been replaced by injection and there's any number of other things. In other words, what I'm trying to get across is that EVA for a lot of applications is obsolete. Recently there's been a new word coin called PEVA or P-E-V-A. Somehow somebody decided to add the letter P in front of EVA to make it PEVA or polyethylene EVA. Same thing it's been for 50 years or so. Now, granted, EVA does have its place in a few applications, specifically total batch inclusion. And if you want to not go into heat sealing and you want to keep using your heirloom RF machines, you need a polar material. EVA does have some degree of polarity, so it's much easier to work with. Metallocene, on the other hand, the very low densities, actually are so much better than EVA for heat sealing, fast tack sealing through contaminants, uh, cold temperature packaging, any number of things. So for a while, we actually did not have any EVA in the plant because it was just pretty much obsolete. So all I'm saying is that if you have a spec for PEVA or somebody calls for EVA, they probably won't even give you the percentage of EVA that they need. Keep an open mind. Take a look at very low density metallocenes. Then you'll be getting with the times.